Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. Yep. And in chapter three, we're supposed to take over the greaseball clique. Which is those guys who wear leather jackets and have their hair where worn as like so a 50s style. So you must style. be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. All right, now I'm not really sure what missions I have up next. So if we, uh, so actually now this um, this chapter takes place in the winter. Looks like we have those two mission chains, but I think I'm gonna stop here. All right, I'll see you guys next time.